Hey everyone, this is Steve from Publish Press, and I'm going to introduce you to Publish Press Permissions, which is the plugin for advanced WordPress permissions. It goes far beyond what you can do with the WordPress core. With this plugin, you can enable or block access to specific posts, pages, categories, tags, or other content on your site. And you can do this for specific user roles, for specific users, or even custom groups that you create. This video is going to be a brief introduction to just some of the possibilities that you get when you install Publish Press permission. I have a WordPress site set up here, and on the plugin screen, I'm going to search for permissions. And publish press permissions. This is what we want. Control access to posts, pages, categories, and tags. And perhaps the quickest way to see it in action is to go to any of the content on your site. On this main screen here, find one of the posts you want to edit and click the edit link and then scroll down. Keep on scrolling down till you get below the content and you'll see two boxes from Publish Press Permissions. The first box is read this post and it controls who can view or read this content on the front of your site. By default, all of these boxes are set to yes. This means that anyone that comes to your site can read this particular post. However, there's another box underneath, edit this post. And in contrast, most of these are set to no and are marked in red. This means that most of the users on your site are not able to edit this particular post. If you do want to change this, and you do want to give editing access to another user role, all you need to do is use this little drop down menu to choose enabled. And now all of the contributors on my site can now edit this post. Or you could decide to click on the users tab and you could decide to do this for just one particular user. I'm going to search for Amanda. And in this particular case, I've given editing access only to Amanda. Oh, plus two contributors as well. Click update. And now, although everyone can read this post, only contributors, editors, and Amanda are able to edit it. Let's take a look at another example of something that we can do with the permissions plugin. Click edit for another post on your site. And again, scroll down. This time, I'm going to create a post which is much more private. All of the reading permissions are set to yes. However, I'm going to change all of these to blocked with the exception of administrators, which is there by default and is set to yes. And I'm also going to remove the permissions for the editors to access this as well. So now everyone is blocked. This is going to be an administrator only post. And thanks to the changes I've made, the only people that are going to be able to read this post are in the administrator role. And the only people that are going to be able to edit this post are in the administrator role. If you look at the two posts that you've just edited on the main post screen here, you'll see a permissions column on the right side of the screen. The first one that we edited shows that the edit permissions have been modified. And the second one shows that both edit and read permissions have been modified. So this is a getting started video for publish press permissions. And we're just touching the very surface of what the plugin can do. But let me show you one more example. If you go to posts and then categories, I'm going to set up one of our user roles so that they can only post into the sports category. 
The way to do that is to click on edit and we're going to have to modify each category quickly. I don't really care about reading. I only care about editing and assigning. So I'm going to focus on editors. So editors are going to be blocked from editing any posts in this category because they are going to focus on sports. And they're also going to be blocked from actually placing any content into this category. So it's going to be impossible now for editors to assign the entertainment term or edit anything with the entertainment term. Now I'm going to go to news and I'm going to repeat that. Okay, edit posts for editors blocked and assign this category blocked and blocked. Now, after updating this category, I'm going to go to the user screen and I'm actually going to test an editor role. I have one editor set up and I have a plugin installed which allows me to quickly switch to test this particular user. On the right side, you'll notice that we have some customizations listed for this particular user. You can click to see what those specifics are, but I'm gonna to test to see if this account is set up correctly. I'm going to switch to Bernie's account, and I'm going to go to posts and click add new. And what I'm looking for is on the right hand side under categories, we had three categories, including news and entertainment. But because I've used the Publish Press Permissions plugin, this user is not allowed to post or edit in any category apart from sports. So those are three examples of what I mean when I say that Publish Press Permissions really does go a long way beyond what you can do with the WordPress core. If you want advanced WordPress permissions, you really should check out Publish Press Permissions. There's a free version available on wordpress.org and there's a pro version available on publishpress.com with even more permissions. And that really does take you light years beyond what you can do with the WordPress core permissions.